Hey, what's going on everybody? This is ODD, April 27th, 2016. I'm just hanging out in my garage. Um, decided I had something I wanted to talk about. So, uh, let's get to it. NASA, sometimes they tell us the truth. And us conspiracists and people with eyes to see and ears to hear, we're like, did you hear what he said? They just admitted that they can't, you know, go past low Earth orbit or something like that. And um, there's plenty of these videos all over the place. Like my buddy from Germany, uh, Cesar, he, uh, he uh, posts some videos with the NASA astronauts admitting that they can't go past low Earth orbit. But anyway, it's like, you know, they tell us the truth and us, we're like, oh yeah, why isn't something being done about this? And then the NASA fans, uh, science buffs, uh, space freaks, you know, they're like, no, nah, man, you're taking that out of context. Uh, he didn't mean it like that. Go kill yourself. Uh, you're retarded. Don't have children. You know, the basic, the basic three. The three-point combo. Go kill yourself, retarded person that shouldn't have kids. Beep, 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 you know. So they hit us with the three, the three-piece. <laughs> and um, we're like, nah, man, He's, these guys are telling us they can't go past low Earth orbit. Listen to this first guy that I got lined up. He's uh, um, Mark Geyer, the program, the, the manager for the Orion program. Just like a 10 second clip of him basically saying that we're gonna finally get to go out and venture into outer space soon if, with the program that he's working on. And uh, it's, it's pretty crazy, man. He's gotta listen. All right, so check out this first one. NASA's next spacecraft, already being built and tested across America, will do those things and more. This is the spacecraft that's going to take humans to explore uh, the solar system. It's the next big step for NASA in exploration. Called the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle, or MPCV, this next generation spacecraft will enable America to explore beyond low Earth orbit. Now, let's look at, uh, there's a clip from 2014, it's uh, NASA engineer Kelly Smith, it's a dude. Um, if you have kids, don't name them Kelly if they're dudes, alright? <laughs> so anywho, there's a dude named Kelly Smith, NASA engineer, 2014, uh, with this epic video, with this epic music talking about the Orion Project and how we're finally going to... We're going to go up and test out the Van Allen radiation belts to see if we could uh, learn more about them so we could finally pass humans through them. But the thing is, is the moon is on the other side of the Van Allen radiation belts, which I want to talk about the Van Allen radiation belts in more detail a little towards the end of the video, but check out this clip. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. All right, this next, this next clip is from uh, Terry Verts. He's an astronaut and in the ISS in 2015, just a year ago, said that right now we can only fly in low earth orbit. Um, hopefully soon with the building blocks that we're building, we'll be able to explore. And we got a lot of destinations that we want to go to like the moon and Mars. And it's just weird what, what these guys are saying. So listen to what he says. Plan that NASA has is to build a rocket called SLS, which is a heavy lift rocket. It's something that is that is much bigger than what we have today, and it will be able to launch the Orion capsule with humans on board, as well as uh, landers or other uh, components to via, to destinations beyond Earth orbit. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. See, like allow us to do that eventually. 
we're working on it and so it can allow us to do it eventually. But 40, 40, 45 years ago, we were going to the moon. How the hell did we go to the moon if we have all these issues now and we lived in a more advanced technological society? NASA's been taking billions of dollars each year. And we've only went to the moon 45 years ago um, and now we can't even get past low 